Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and in this video we're going to look at um, baking maps for the low poly um, in Marmoset Toolbag. Okay you can use different softwares I like to use Marmoset Toolbag. Now just before you go ahead and export everything if you're using an object like this it's got lots of different objects so for example here I have removed the um, de decimate modifier entirely because this is a super low poly mesh and I've done the same for this because we don't need the decimate on that. And in some cases with some of our smaller objects, you may notice that the 35% um, 0.35 ratio isn't quite enough. So we can just bring that back up just to get a bit detail back in there. And I've done the same for these attachments and that. So. We do have a lot of objects here, a lot of separate bits and pieces, but this will help our baking process as well. So, and you can, once everything's baked, you can join things together if they're not um, needing to be separated for animation or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to unhide our high poly collection. Okay. And we're just going to export everything as an FBX. Okay one single fbx all of our high and all of our low poly objects you can see them all there and if we highlight the uh low group you can see that they're all there as well so but i'm just going to come down here and i'm just going to select everything or just Control a in your scene as long as there's nothing else there fbx selected objects only okay you can turn bake animation off if you want it doesn't really matter and if you come down to geometry, just make sure apply modifiers is there as well. So let's export our FBX now. Okay. And we've done that. And what we can do now is we can head over to um, Marmoset Toolbag. And you'll see that we've got Marmoset Toolbag here. And this is one that I baked as a practice run. And you can see the bake's quite good, okay? Um, if you have a look there. Now, there is a little bit of um, uh, manual uh, work involved in this as well. So we'll just go File, New Scene, okay? Uh, I'm just going to say no to that because we're just starting from scratch. Add a new bake project. And normally you would go to File, um, import and you can import your high and low and then you can drag and them into the high and low things but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to our bake project here and we're gonna come down to our quick loader and press load and we're gonna load our luggage for baking our luggage bake .fbx, okay and this will come up with just the low poly visible and you can see all of our objects our separate objects we've got our low poly here um, and what we want to do is we just want to click on our bake project, click preview. It'll ask us for a output path. So we'll click yes. Okay. And I've already done this. So I'm just going to overwrite these by doing that and we'll come up with this. Okay. So what we want to do is actually we've done something wrong here because we're using multiple texture sets. We actually need to highlight multiple texture sets and let's just click bake again and preview and make sure ambient occlusion is selected we're going to bake one more time preview and there we've got it we've got the zipper in there which is not geometry and what we probably want to do is make the main 4k and I think for the parts we can go maybe um, 1024 we'll try it we don't actually need that much detail because it's a lot smaller area so we'll go back to our bake project and we'll click bake okay so the zip is now a lot higher detail and what you'll notice is some artifacting down here so what we really need to do is we need to go to our wheels one at a time and I might speed this up once I let you know, but can you see these uh, shadows? These are artifacts because the uh, UV map is. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. You can estimate the op offset and you'll see it change on my screen. Well, if that doesn't pop up in front, okay. 
And if that's still not good enough, you can also paint the offset, okay? So if I choose a value close to one or something, black means it'll go in and white means it will come out. So you can do that as well, okay? And you actually need to do this for each one. So I may just, um, I may just uh, speed this up and sometimes okay there so we'll go estimate offset and you can see that just expanded there that should be good enough okay and sometimes you've got to it's a bit of a bug but sometimes you've got to click onto something else before it'll let you select something else so and we'll go up to low here estimate offset and this is actually doing, even though it keeps popping in front. Okay, and once we've done that, we should be able to bake again. Let's just check over here to see if these are baking okay. No, we want to do the same for these guys here. So... And maybe bring it out a little bit more and okay and uh, I mean getting into this level of detail down here you're probably never ever gonna notice this so sometimes you have to like figure out how much time you want to commit to it to be honest but um for example we can actually do it with this one as well um we'll just go estimate offset that will be fine and this one up here as well okay now once we hit bake again and let's just go and get like one of our wheels up front and you can see all of these artifacts from that now this should fix it if not we've got to try again okay but it looks like it's mostly fixed there's a little bit of artifacting in here on the ambient occlusion I really wouldn't worry too much about something like that and as you can see uh, the fillets that we removed earlier on have come back uh, as part of our bake so that's great news so that's pretty much it guys like that's just the rough guide on um how to bake normals and 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 troubleshoot problems with artifacts in marmoset you can see here there's maybe a little bit of artifacting but remember you can fiddle with this until you go blue in the face but at the end of the day figure out how big the object's going to be is this going to be a close-up or are you going to only be seeing it from this distance at which you can't really notice it like so you know there is a little bit of artifacting on this one here so if we go and find where that is okay and we just want to bring that offset out a bit more estimate offset okay and this could be to do with the uv map as well so um Let's just go and bake that one more time. But that's kind of fixed it up as well. So you can go through all the wheels and see if you can find any artifacts. Um, these artifacts are kind of here because I, it's, it's bad modeling on the high poly. But um, apart from that, there's things like this. We can look at this attachment here and we can maybe even bring our max offset out even further. Click bake again. And let's just zoom in on that and see what happens when we do the bake. We're still getting a little bit of it and it's AO. And remember, this is a lot lower res. So if we maybe brought this up to 2048 by 2048 and hit bake again, it's probably, yeah, it's going to be a lot more detailed. So that's up to you to decide how detailed you want it. Like as this is a game asset, and these are just parts i don't think any more than 1024 like even on a, a lower res you'd probably even bring this down to 512 and you know um 
you know, you could even bring this down to 512 in some cases, depending on what your detail normal is and things like that are going to be. So I'm going to stick with 1024 and I'll leave that as the, that as it is. Now, when you want the rest of your um, maps, what you can do is you can just come in here and select them and um, the ones that you want. So usually if you're going into substance from here, you'd go normals, object normals, which are world space normals, height, position, curvature, uh, thickness. Um, sometimes you can use cavity as a mask. Um, and then if you're wanting any vertex colors, you can click vertex color as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks a lot once again for watching. Tschüss.